If you want to learn to solve Sudoku without marking candidates, this is the channel. I use a pen and don't take any notes while solving puzzles. You can also learn patterns and techniques to solve Sudoku puzzles without candidates at sudokuprimer.com. You can find lots of other Sudoku inter information out there like Sudoku myths and history, and you can download free blank Sudoku grids there. There's even a Wordoku where you can choose your own letters and phrases, phrases, and it will build puzzles for you. So go check it out there. There's a lot out there, a lot of Sudoku stuff out there. This is puzzle number 87 from Sudoku to Go, volume 147. This puzzle is kind of tricky because we get, get stuck and need to find a set of triplets by using double row elimination. Then we need to use double row and double column elimination to get the next few numbers. And I'll show you when, when we get to those, those points. To start, let's put in some easy numbers. Got one, 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 so there's a one there. One there. And if you have any questions about how I placed numbers or how I found things, uh, please leave a comment. Three, 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 three. So there's a three there. All right, and we got a nine here. Nine here, nine here. So nine, nine, nine. So that's a nine right there. All right, let's look at this row right here. We're already starting to get to the point where we're having trouble finding numbers here. Let's see what we're missing in this row. Three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Look at look at this cell right here. We got a three, four, five, six. So that's a seven. And now we have four, five, six, three, four, five, four, five, six, three, five. So we can't do anything else with that row. All right, let's look at this column. We're missing one, two, eight, nine. We've got a one and a nine here, so that's a two or an eight. Got a one and a nine here, so that's two or eight. So these are two eight twins. So we're only missing one and nine, and we can solve that nine with that one there and fill in that one. Okay. Now we've got uh, some more ones. So there's a another one. And there's another one there. All right, and I think we've got all our ones now. Okay, let's see. Now we've got a, uh, a 999, nine, nine, so that's a 9 right there. 9 right there. 9, 9, 9, so that's a 9. And we've got a 9 here, 9, 9, so there's a 9 right there. And at this point, we get pretty stuck. I mentioned at the beginning we found some triplets using um, using double row elimination. And uh, let me show you that here. We've got a 5 and an 8 here in this row and a 5 and an 8 in this column. So we've got 5. One of these is a 5. One of these is an 8. But we need one more number to have triplets. Um, and I'm going to show you what that other number is, but if you want to pause the video for a second and see if you can find it yourself, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I'll continue on. We've got a 2 here, 2 here, so one of these is a 2. And we're missing 2, 6, and 7 here. So 2, 2, and using double row elimination, we know 2 has to go here or here. So now we have 2. 5, 8. 
And the only two numbers left are 6 and 7 here. Okay, so now we know the 258 triplets here and 6, 7 twins, but we still can't find any numbers yet. Now we need to use double column elimination to find the next number. We've got a 7 here and here, here or here, and a 7 goes in one of these. We've got a 7 here, so that can't be a 7. Using double column elimination, we've eliminated these two columns for these two boxes, and so the 7 has to be in this column for this box, and there's a 7 there already, so we know that that is a 7. All right, and now let's use, let's use that technique again. We have 2, 6, 7 here, and 6, 7 here, so we have 7, 7, 7. Use double row elimination to find that one of these is a 7, and that 7 there's a 7 there, so we know that's a 7. And then we have 7, 7, 7, so that's a 7 right there. And 7, 7, we can't solve that one yet. Okay, so we've used double row and double column elimination a few times already here to find numbers. All right, now let's look at, um, we've got a three here and a three here. I've got a three here also, so we have a three here and ghost threes here. So we know that has to be a three. All right, and with that three, that three here, three, three, so we can put a three there. And that makes that a three. Again, if I do something that you can't see or you're not sure how I did it, please leave a comment and I can certainly help you out. Three, three, three right there. Okay, and now we've got all our threes. Uh, all our ones and all our threes, and I think we've got all our nines here too. Yeah, I've got all our nines too, okay. Let's, um, now we're going to use the gate pattern. This is a gate right here, and there's an 8 going through it. So if we find an 8 here or here, we'll know what row the 8s are on. There's an 8 here, so we know one of these has to be an 8. So we have 8 ghost 8s, so that's an 8 right there. All right, and now we've got, let's see, what are we missing here? We're missing four, five, six, four, five, and six. Well, look at this. We've got a six here and a six here, so that's a six right there. And we've got a five there, so we know that's a four, and that's a five. All right, and then with that five, we've got a five, five. We've got a five here and ghost fives there. So we know that can't be a 5. We have 5, 5, 5. With the ghost 5s there, we know the 5 goes there. All right, now we've, we're have we missing 2 and 8 here. We've got a 2 there. We also knew that had to be a 2 because of the 2, 2, double row elimination. The 2 had to be here or here. So we know that's a 2. And that's an 8. We also saw that 2 there, so we knew that would be an 8 there. All right, now we're only missing 2 and 4 in this box, and we can fill those in. And now in, in this column, we're only missing 5, 8, 5 and 8, 8 there, so we can fill those in. All right, we're only missing uh, four there. We can complete that. And we're missing a four there, only number left in that box, and a four there because of that four. Now we're only missing two, five, seven there. 
see, got two there, so that's a two. A seven there, so five and seven to complete that box. We're only missing three numbers here. A two there, a five there, and an eight there. That leaves a two here, because remember our two eight twins we had there. And now we have six and eight left here. There's an eight there, so we can complete those. All right, what are we missing here? Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, and eight. Well, this has to be an eight because of that eight right there. And we've only got one number left here, and that's a five. So we have six and seven there. We can't solve those yet. Let's see. We've got a two right there, because we have two, two, and two there. So that's a two. Let's see. We've got an eight there. And let's see. Two, let's see what we're missing in this box. Two, six, two and six. We can fill those in. And what's this one right here? A five. Now we've got six and seven left. Six, seven, six, seven, six, seven. There's a seven, so we can finish all of those. And that's it. All right. Well, if you remember, we uh, when we got stuck, we were able to find the two three five, two five eight triplets here because of the uh, double column or double row elimination here. Two two two. We had two five eight, and then we knew these were six and seven using double column elimination. We found that seven. Using double row elimination, we found that seven. And uh, then uh, from then on, it was pretty easy. Well, thank you for watching.